To Capitol Hill now, where the Biden family money man, as reported, Eric Schwerin testified yesterday that he provided then Vice President Joe Biden with free services while working with Hunter Biden. It's just one of several new details emerging about what exactly this former business associate of the president's son told impeachment investigators. Our national correspondent, Alana Austin, she's been following the story, joins us now live from Capitol Hill. Alana, good morning. Hi, good morning, Emma, and good morning to you as well, Sean. So one of the things out of this hearing that lasted for six hours is that House Republicans came away from it thinking there's not exactly a wall, as President Joe Biden said, between his official duties and also what he knew about his family's business dealings. Now, what we heard from a source familiar regarding yesterday's testimony on Capitol Hill is that Vice President Biden interacted with Schwerin Hunter's business associate on numerous occasions. Schwerin also completed tasks for Joe Biden, but was not paid for them. This included house bookkeeping, paying bills, tax preparation, and financial disclosures. The source familiar says this raises concerns about a top executive branch official accepting gifts while in office. Schwerin says he has no insights into the payments that flowed to Hunter Biden from China, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and Romania. Republicans brought Schwerin in as they try to understand what the Bidens were selling in terms of foreign business dealings, as well as any potential awareness directly from Joe Biden. Now, in reaction to yesterday's testimony, ranking Democrat Jamie Raskin says, quote, just like every other witness called by House Republicans, Eric Schwerin told the committee that he never saw evidence of any wrongdoing by President Biden and that President Biden was not involved in, did not profit from, and took no official acts in relation to his family's business dealings. <clears throat> According to GOP leaders on the House Ways and Means Committee, Schwerin structured the family's various shell companies around the world. While Joe Biden was vice president, he used pseudonyms to email Schwerin directly, with 54 emails identified by the GOP. Republicans say there was an enormous uptick in communications around the time when Biden traveled to Ukraine and Hunter was appointed to Burisma. During yesterday's meeting, the source familiar also told me Schwerin confirmed Robin Ware 456 was a pseudonym used by Biden in those emails. Now, Sean and Emma, House Republicans say they are still fighting to get more of those emails from the National Archives, but that the White House is blocking this information from coming out. So far, the emails that they have gotten their hands on were always... Uh, flattering to President Joe Biden or innocuous. Back to you. All right. Those GOP lawmakers just trying to get more answers. Alana Austin, thank you. Meantime, attorneys for Hunter Biden are looking to dismiss his gun-related charges. They argue the charges are politically motivated and say key evidence was tested after charges were filed. Prosecutors say cocaine residue was found on the gun pouch of the president's son. But Hunter's legal team saying it was not tested right away. Hunter's attorney, Abby Lowe, also saying prosecutors were ready to strike a plea deal in the case, but they then were politically pressured to not do so. Prosecutors say there is no evidence of that. Hunter has pleaded not guilty. A trial could happen this year. He's also facing federal tax charges in Los Angeles.